Good morning. It's Wednesday, June 7th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Heaven's Promise, and our scripture is John's Gospel, chapter 14. Judas, not Judas Iscariot, but the other disciple with that name, said to him, Lord, why are you going to reveal yourself only to us and not to the world at large? Jesus replied, All who love me will do what I say. My Father will love them, and we will come and make our home with each of them. Anyone who doesn't love me will not obey me. And remember, my words are not my own. What I am telling you is from the Father who sent me. I am telling you these things now while I am still with you. But when the Father sends the Advocate as my representative, that is, the Holy Spirit, he will teach you everything and remind you of everything I have told you. There is a lot of stuff, even in everyday living, which must be taken by faith. Start with that chair you sat in. You exercised faith, trusting that the chair would not crumble when you sat on it. And since you're still reading or hearing, we know you didn't die in the fall when the chair violated your trust. It takes faith of a sort to bite into an apple, trusting that you'll not find half a worm afterwards. It takes faith to turn the key on your car. You hopefully anticipate the engine will start without an explosion, especially after you watched that mob violence movie last night. For the disciples of Jesus, it was not a business-as-usual, everyday piece of faith that Jesus was laying on the table. They all wanted to know a lot about the way things were going to proceed. They wanted to know what the future held for them. They had all seen people hanging on crosses. They knew talk of Jewish kingdoms meant you were going to get beaten, at least, and Roman nails in your hands and feet at worst. They already had seen angry mobs and other followers leaving the pack. They needed to know, and Jesus clearly told them, you'll have to wait and trust. You know what that sounds like. As a kid, you asked for a pony, and mom or dad said, why don't you ask Santa Claus? You asked if we were going to the county fair, and they said, maybe. You had questions, and they said, someday you'll understand. And didn't your parent doing the driving growl when you asked that other question from the back seat of the family bus, are we there yet? Well, that other Judas, the good one, had that kind of question, why? For the disciples, Jesus' answer was framed around two faith realities. Number one, if you really want to follow me, you're going to have to trust the promise I've told you is from heaven's throne. And number two, I'm promising you heaven's promise is sealed tighter than a Roman legion of soldiers racing to the battle. If you trust me, do what I'm asking, and nothing will keep God from sending the one who will be on your side. And that's the only side that will be left after the spiritual war has been decided. For you today, Jesus said, He, the Holy Spirit, will teach you everything you need to know to receive heaven's promise and serve heaven's kingdom. You can trust. And that's still the promise. He'll be with you today. So open your heart, your ears, and your life to his leading. Have faith in God's promise. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.